Mario sports games have a special place in my heart. I think a lot of Nintendo gamers, just because of the basic and, you know, the simplicity of them, but they're also extremely fun, especially when you play them with people. When you get your friends and family over and you start playing Mario sports games, it's really a fun time, and technically, to me at least, it depends on the Mario game. I mean, I love Mario Tennis as much as the next guy, but they have been absolutely flooding us with Mario Tennis. I'm sick of it. I don't want to see it again. Mario Tennis Aces, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, Mario Tennis Open, Mario Tennis Power Tour, Mario Power Tennis, Mario Tennis, Mario's Tennis, and Tennis. Now, personally, I love the Mario Golf games, but that could also be said, you know, similar to Mario Tennis. There's a total of six games in a series, and it's probably like second place uh, for the most sports titles on Nintendo hardware. But it's not the same as Mario Tennis games, in my opinion, because it feels like there's a Mario Tennis game on every console, maybe even to a console, and they all just feel cram-packed, whereas Mario Golf games seem a little bit more spaced out, and I like Mario Golf. Sue me, okay? So when we look and try to predict the next Mario Sports game in the series, we can already move Mario Tennis out the way because of the Aces on the Switch. I swear if they somehow come up with another tennis game, they, they won't. There's no way. Um, <laughs> but I kind of want to, you know, exclude Mario Golf as well. I don't think it's time for Mario Golf again. I think they want to hit one of those lower series. So we're actually going to exclude Mario Golf um, for this video. But if it happens, I won't be mad. So first off, I want to take a look at the Mario Baseball games because I grew up playing baseball, golf, and, you know, this is something I can relate with, and I love baseball. Uh, but unfortunately, there's only two games in the series. No, we're not counting the sports mix games. Those games are stupid. Anyways, Mario Baseball only has two games. The first one came out in 2005 for the Nintendo GameCube being Mario Superstar Baseball, and then another three years later being Mario Super Sluggers. This means it would be 11 years since we've had a Mario Baseball game, an original Mario Baseball game, and I think we're due. Mario Baseball games are terrific for the franchise because it lets you have multiple characters on a team. You can make a full team of nine characters on your roster, and you can fill them with characters across the whole franchise. For instance, Super Mario Sluggers had many characters. They had Donkey Kong characters, they had different Toads, Toadettes, Sunshine characters, different characters from all throughout the Mario franchise, and they could even expand on it greatly today with all the Koopalings and uh, other characters from games that we know now, such as maybe even Cappy from Mario Odyssey. Mario Super Sluggers has a total of 40 characters, which is amazing, and they'd probably even double that in today's standards. And when you look at it, Mario Baseball might be the most dynamic of all the sports games because you get characters from every part of the series. I mean, even low-down enemies that never get a spotlight, such as Goomba and even Paragoomba, make uh, appearances in this game. Even Blooper is in this game. All the babies, and all kind of stuff like that. Baby DK. I mean, this is just a type of game to get everybody involved and to have a team full of dynamic characters throughout the Mario franchise. And that's why I would really want a Mario Baseball simply just because of the cast. But how would this work with the Switch hardware? We've seen something very similar with Mario Tennis Aces where you can just swing the racket or you could play it as a regular controller. Um, and that would be the same thing here. You can swing the bat or throw the, uh, not throw the Joy-Con, but, you know, Act like you're throwing the Joy-Con as like you're throwing a baseball, and that could be something that they could do. But uh, keep your eyes peeled for a Mario baseball here in the near future. I think that might actually come into fruition. Next up on our list is the Mario Soccer games, which really hasn't gotten much recognition similar to the Mario Baseball games. They've gotten some with the Mario Sports Mix games and also with the Olympic sports, um, but they didn't really fit what people wanted. Uh, people are really craving for another Mario Soccer game. I think this is the number one on their list um, because they haven't had anything since Striker Days, which is uh, originated on the GameCube in 2005. Super Mario Strikers was released. It is a nitty-gritty punch, kick, tackle soccer game uh, where the characters are padded up and they're all super charged up and no pun intended for the next game, uh, but super angry at each other and it's just like they, you can really feel the passion of these players. Um, the game later gets revived two years later, being uh, Mario Strikers Charged on the Wii in 2007, but since then we have heard nothing about another Mario Strikers game. We're kind of due, and uh, let me tell you why. Mario Strikers had something different than all the other sports games. Like I said, it was gritty. It was... It was like almost, I can't remember exactly what the rating was. I think it was 10 plus, but it should really be rated T just the way the characters acted towards each other. I mean, they would run each other over and kind of like taunt in each other's faces like Waluigi taunted on people. And it was just like, it was a different experience than the rest. And I think a lot of people want to see this return, but we haven't seen this in any type of way. We've seen basic soccer games. I mean, seriously, go back and look at this Mario sports game soccer. It's just... It's just not the same. It's very bland. It's like it's missing a key ingredient, and it's that nitty-gritty like I mentioned earlier. It's that, that fight-or-flight attitude that they've had in the Strikers games, and I think we could see another Striker game coming in the near future. Now, at least Mario Soccer and Mario Baseball had two games at the very least. 
Mario Basketball has had one singular game. Like I said, outside of the Mario Sports Mix, because I know there was one of Mario Sports Mix, but it was actually pretty good. You know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not hating on that one too much. But there was one standalone Mario Basketball game, Mario Hoops 3-on-3 3 3 for the Nintendo DS. This game was a lot of fun for me. I had this game when I was a little kid, and... I had no clue what was going on because this game was like a collaboration with Final Fantasy characters and I seen like a ninja running around and a little Moogle thing and this little that little bat and I was just like, what's going on? Um, and these mages, white mage and dark mage, I'm like, what is going on? But it was wacky and cool and whatever, but um, it was so cool. It was a really flushed out Mario basketball game where you could do a layup, you could dunk, you could switch your dunk to a, like, a little finger roll, you could shoot threes, you could... You know, literally control your dribble with the stylus pen by uh, tapping the pen in certain locations to have the ball go between Mario's legs and stuff. And you had special moves where you had to type out the character's, like, uh, special symbol. And it was, like, it was so cool. I'm just getting hyped talking about this. I really want Mario Basketball to return. And out of all the games, I think this one still needs to be next. It needs a revival. Mario Basketball is something that could be really unique on the Switch with, like I said, with a whole bunch of new characters and stuff. You can have 3-on-3, three 5-on-5. Three, you know, mix it up the way you want. Maybe even 1v1. You could play online with against people. It could be something really unique. It could even have that Mario Strikers nitty gritty vibe that they had going on there. That would be really cool. But either way, please, Nintendo, bring back Mario Basketball in some sort of way. I think we really would need this, and I'm hoping it happens. Now, the odd one here is still Mario Football. Not football as in soccer, but football as in American football. We've kind of seen this, and the only thing that's kind of giving us a hint as what this would look like uh, is the rugby game mode and Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I, this is actually kind of cool. I actually enjoyed watching, you know, Nintendo characters tackle each other. I was like, why in the world has football not been a thing and not even brought up when it came to Mario sports games? And I'm really curious as to why, you know. Um, but you have that, you have Mario Volleyball, which was in a sports mix, and you've got a couple other small ones. It was horse racing in one of the sports mix for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of Mario sports games. And if they do, you know, something else I'm not even thinking of. I think there was hockey as well that they did one time in a sports mix game. Um, but I'm really excited to see what they come up with next. Now, the reason why I kind of wanted to bring this up is to talk about uh, the potential for another Mario spinoff game coming up soon. I believe there is one coming, and there's normally one or two every year or every other year, and I'm excited to talk about and to, you know, speculate what's coming next. I don't think it's a Mario Party because we just got that, um, even though it was not that great. Um, I do think it's going to be another Mario sports game, and I think it's going to be announced at E3. I think it's one of those games that gets looked at for about 30 seconds and they move on. It's coming sometime in the fall or, you know, close to the winter time. And I really am curious as to what sport game that they're going to go with next time. I do think it's going to be a sport game. I'm pretty much confirmed on that. And uh, we ain't, like, again, like I say, every video, we don't have much longer to wait because E3 is still right around the corner. We're just about three weeks away as E3 kicks off June 11th, in case any of you guys uh, forgot when that started. Uh, but I'm super excited to, you know, cover that and to see what's coming up next. We'll be talking about a whole bunch of more games uh, that we expect to see at E3 coming in the next couple of weeks, talking about this in videos. And we'll still be working with Mario Maker 2 and speculating what that secret game mode is as we uh, put up another video here soon. Uh, but thank you guys for tuning in. And guys, let me know in the comment what you expect this next Mario Sports game to be. Would you love to see another Mario soccer game uh, akin to Mario Strikers? Or would you like to see another Mario Golf game, uh, even though they would be number seven? Or would you want one of the more obscure, like a Mario Baseball or a Mario Basketball? Or would you want something entirely brand new, like Mario Football? Let me know in the comments below. And if I missed anything, also uh, remind me of that. But thank you guys for tuning in today, and I will see you guys on the next one. See you guys. What's up, guys? If you guys are fans of Fortnite and other games akin to that, we have started a brand new channel named Daddy L. If you guys like third-party games outside of Nintendo and you want a break from Nintendo, feel free to visit this channel. Feel free to subscribe as well as the link is in the description below. And if you guys want to help to get the channel rolling, that would be great. Thank you guys for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.